Hi everyone, this time I will show you how to knit a simple washcloth. For this tutorial we need cotton yarn. I have two different colors. We need knitting needles. These are bamboo needle 3.25 millimeters. We need also a crochet hook. This one is 3 millimeters, scissors and a tapestry needle. So first we will start with the first color and we will cast on stitches. For this start with a knot, make a circle, put the long strand under the circle and pull it through the circle. You have a loop and insert the needle through this loop and tighten your yarn. Make sure it's not too tight and then take your second needle. On the front side, insert the needle and then grab the yarn and pull it through the stitch. Make sure your stitch is big enough and put it backwards onto the needle. And then again, grab the yarn, pull it through, make sure the loop is big enough and put it backwards onto the needle. And continue doing this until we have 40 stitches. The more stitches you have, the bigger is your washcloth. So these are 40 stitches. And now we will start with the ribbing stitch. And the yarn is now on the front side. And I will start with two purl stitches. So this is the combined way to knit. You insert the needle from above on the front side, grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch and take off the stitch. One more time. From above on the front side, grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch and take off. So the next two stitches will be the knit stitch and you insert a needle on the back side of the stitch from above, then grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch, take off. One more time on the back side, grab the yarn, pull it through and take off. Now again, two purl stitches, then two knit stitches. This is the first row and we will knit the second row in the same way. We alternate between the purl stitch. As you can see here, there are some knots. This tells us to knit the purl stitch and in between we have the knit stitch. So we start with the purl stitch again, but at the beginning I will take off the first stitch all the time at the beginning of a row. Then one purl stitch, two knit stitches, two purl stitches and so on until your work is big enough. This is the ribbing stitch so far. And now we will start with the stockinette stitch. I added 
already the new yarn. This is a simple knot. And I will continue alternating between one row knit stitch and one row purl stitch. Take off the first stitch and then knit stitch across the row. This is the first row and as you can see we have here knots all over and this is or this shows that we have to purl now. So take off the first stitch and then start purling. This is how it looks like after the second row and if you want to change the color you can leave your work like this and you take the first color again, not the red one but the yellow one. You don't have to make knots or to cut the yarn, you continue using the first color and now again knit stitch. Use the knit stitch for the stockinette stitch. And continue doing this until your wash clothes is long enough. This is our wash clothes so far and now we have to cast off our stitches. I'm using the crochet hook for the elastic cast off. Now take off the first stitch. Then insert your hook into the second stitch. Pull the yarn through the stitch, take off, yarn over and pull the yarn through these two loops. Now again through the next stitch, pull the yarn through the stitch, take off, yarn over and pull through two. Now continue doing this until the end of the row. So now we have only one stitch left. Now we have to cut the yarn. Make sure it's long enough that you can sew your washcloth. I think this is too long but it's better if it is too long and not too short. Then pull the yarn through the last stitch. Pull all these long strands. Or well, it's only one strand. All through this loop and then tighten. And now we have to fold our work. like this. Now take a tapestry needle and start sewing your washcloth. We will start on the top and then we will sew the side.
After sewing our washcloths, make sure your ends are all inside the work. So sewing your ends and now we can put our work inside out or turn it inside out. Because we need the pearl side for washing. Yeah, and that is your washcloth. So fun and happy crocheting. Bye bye.